Howdy, this is Lemmy with Revzilla here to talk to you today about the best cruiser tires. Now, if you're watching this video, my guess is that you have a cruiser and you're also trying to put a set of tires on there. Now, if you've taken a look at what tires exist, you may realize that there are an overwhelming number of choices and not everybody needs 600 different tires to paw through. So what we've done in this video is sort of assembled a couple of the standout tires that we've seen come through the doors here at Revzilla in order to make your buying a little bit easier. Now, before we get kicked off into the tires themselves, let's talk about cruiser tires and what makes them a little bit different than some of the other bikes on the road. If you're riding around in a cruiser, putting a set of shoes on it can be difficult for one really big and important reason. The fact is, many cruisers wear lots and lots of different wheel sizes. Depending on what kind of bike you're on, you may have a 15, a 16, an 18, a 17, a 19, a 21 inch tire. There's just lots and lots of different sizes out there. And you may be able to find a tire that's good for one end of your bike, but maybe not a matching tire for the other end of your motorcycle. Especially on Metro cruisers, you may find that one of your tires is a commonly found size, but the other tire might be much, much harder. Because of that, it can be difficult to find a matching set of tires that's going to work well for your motorcycle. With such a wide range of wheel sizes and tire sizes out there, this gets a little bit hairy. Still though, we have a couple of selections I think that will help you and at least get you down, started down the right path into considering a few tires and getting your research sort of hammered home for what tire might suit you best and what class of tires could be best for you and your cruiser. Before we get into the tires, of course, I do want to remind you that this is just one in a series of best of videos. We've broken down the best tires for a couple different styles of motorcycle. So if you have a bike sitting next to your cruiser in the garage, it's a different style of motorcycle, you may want to check out some of those other videos if you're looking for a new set of shoes for that bike as well. Right now though, let's get into some skins. Alrighty, first up we've got a Dunlop Elite 4, the latest iteration in Dunlop's Elite series. The Elite 4 is a really versatile tire. If you're not 100% sure what tire it is you need based on your riding style and your bike, an Elite 4 is probably a good jumping off point if you don't have much experience with tires. These things are offered in two types of construction. You can get these as both a bias ply as well as a radial. That's kind of neat. Not every tire necessarily will come radially constructed. The Elite 4 is also a little bit of an odd duck in that this tire has dual compounds. Um, and what that means is in the rubber of this tire, down the center, we have a nice hard rubber there. It's going to provide long mileage. So when you're riding your bike, you're not going to square off your tire quickly and flatten out that middle section. But out here on the shoulders, you've got a softer rubber compound that's going to provide additional grip, especially when you're leaning hard into a corner. This is also a standout tire for those of you who might be on gold wings. Because this comes in gold wing sizing and also is offered in radial construction, it fits a large number of Hondas that otherwise don't have a great selection for shoes. Let's move on to the next tire. Next up, we're going to switch gears a little bit here. We're going to get into the Pirelli Night Dragon. Great tire, super dweeby name. If you can look past the fact this thing is called a Night Dragon, what you will find is a really, really good tire, especially for those of you who are aggressive riders. If you go out to your motorcycle right now and flip up either the foot pegs or the footboards and you see all sorts of grind marks on there and maybe they're just worn down and nubbins, the Night Dragon is probably the tire for you. If you're accustomed to other style bikes other than cruisers, you'll know that tires are usually pretty great. They're grippy and grabby. If you come to the cruiser world, however, they're not always fantastic tires. A lot of times you'll have this big heavy machine with a fair amount of power, but you can't really harness it all the way because the tires are slipping and sliding on you. Enter the Night Dragon. This is probably going to be the best tire for aggressive riders out there. This is simply the stickiest tire on the market. Mileage isn't fantastic on these, but of course you knew and expected that when you were looking into a tire that was not a mileage based tire. So if you tend to treat your motorcycle like a rental, check out some Pirelli Night Dragons. Probably going to be the cruiser tire that makes you the happiest. Let's move on. Now we're moving into our special consumer tire, and that's the Metzler ME888. Now this is kind of an interesting tire. When I say special consumer here, I mean there are a couple different people who are going to find the ME888 to be a good tire for them for vastly different reasons. So the first and probably most noticeable thing you'll see here is that these are offered in a white wall. As a matter of fact, this is probably the tire offered with more white wall sizes than just about anything else on the market today. So if you have to have a white wall for your bike, if you're riding something like a, a deluxe and you really want to keep that traditional look and you love the white wall, a Metzler ME888 is a great place to start. It's a really good tire, but again, your likelihood of finding it in the white wall is very high. Now, the other set of consumers, too, who might also be interested in an ME888 are those who are riding around on 
bikes that have sort of strange tire sizes. Now there's some really common stuff that you'll see all the time, 130, 90, 16, 90, 90, 21. You can totally get these tires in those sizes, but there's some other cruisers that use some odd duck sizes, muscle cruisers, stuff out of the 80s, a lot of metric stuff, uses these odd duck sizes. And like I had said earlier in the video, it can be tough to find two of the same tire that'll fit your odd duck bike. The Metzler ME 888 comes in like 11 gajillion sizes. So if you have a hard to shoe motorcycle, start with an ME 888 and see what you can find. As far as the tire itself, this is a good generalist tire, really great uh, wear on these things. And the other thing they kind of shine at too is wet weather performance. These things really hold their own in wet weather. So it's a good option for commuters as well. Let's move on to another set of skins. Next up, we're looking at a Michelin Commander 2. I can pinch and hold this tire for you very succinctly. This is your mileage option. If you're looking to put a tire on your bike and have it last for a really long time, Commander 2 is probably the best bet. We've got reports of riders riding full dress touring machines, Electroglides and the like, getting 25,000 miles or better out of these tires. Obviously, there is no mileage warranty on here, but it should speak to the longevity of this tire. These things really go the distance. This is going to be a particularly useful tire for those of you who are bringing your bike to the shop to get tires done too. If you're not mounting and balancing your own tires, and especially if you're not bringing your own wheels into the shop, you're actually letting the shop handle that, well, it can be a really big savings to wind up putting a tire onto your bike that's gonna last a long time. If you're getting two, three times the mileage you would out of a cheaper tire, you may actually be saving money in the long run because you're not paying to get the tires and wheels off the bike on and off several times. So this can be a great savings for those of you who find yourself dropping the bike off for the dealer for let, to let them do the work. Let's move on to another tire. Alrighty, let's bring this thing home, and we're gonna talk now about the Budget Buster tire. We try and throw one of these in there. For those of you who are maybe stringing a bike along at the end of the season, or perhaps you've just got a ratty old Harley that's not worth throwing a bunch of money into. For you guys, there's the Shinko 777 tire. What we have here effectively is a lot of tire for not so much money. That's the standout feature of this tire. It's not going to break your bank. Now, if you're saying, hey, I'm not on a Harley, what about me? You're in luck. There's even greater savings with a Shinko 712, kind of an analogous tire to the 770. It's a tire that's actually a little bit more affordable because it's made for lighter motorcycles. So if you're on a metric, there's also a counterpart tire to that. That rounds out our best cruiser tires. Your step at this point should be to click that info button, start checking out some of the other cruiser tires we have available for you, or go right to one of these if you don't feel like doing any more research. Of course, you need a little bit of help, something I didn't cover in this video. You need a little bit more personalized attention. Don't be afraid to get in touch with us. You can always get one of our gear geeks by phone, 877-792-9455. Of course, always get us by email to cs at revzilla.com. We'd love to talk to you. I'm Lemmy. I'm out of here.